Hi, this is size 12 straight chunk light wire hook. Um, the thread I'm using is Blug Eto Waxy thread. Just start below the eye. And just take this extra piece off and this is a parachute pattern so I'm going to be using um, polypropylene this is a midge wing yarn you can use polypropylene floating yarn so just take a piece So I just took the, you know, about an inch long, you know, actually a bit longer than an inch, and then you come back. Sorry, my fault. <coughs> if you catch it in the middle, secure this, and then left both end up and just to kind of go around them just to create a space for the parachute hako so this is then you come down just leave it just now for a second and that's fine. And I'm going to add some more wax on the thread. And I should go towards the bent. <coughs> going to add a tail. So tail will be a brown cock huckle or ginger. Um, and it's just a run out of some. So there's two fiber I'm going to be using. So this is a sorry brown one. So I'll take some off. Not very big tail though, just a few fiber off. And just gonna add the tail. Couple of turn. Take your time and also for the tail you need a grizzly cock huckle mixed together. Again you need a little bit, just a few fibers. And then unwind this, cut this together. And just around the bend. So basically, this is your tail done. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get this tip you know the end of um, <coughs> for body I'm using is a grey dun polypropylene yarn again uh, you can use hairs here or uh, hairs any dubbing you want this is just a, I'm gonna pull out a few strand out of this to, so I can have an accurate body so I don't want two bodies to be too chunky you know so that's fine okay so just a body length 
alter this and then here what you do is use your touch and turn method as you're going towards the post in this shape of the body then what I'll do just to give one turn and then twist this kind of create a rope and just so we can have a little segmentation for the body this is a floating yarn I it helps you know to float so that's fine just catch it around in front of the post <coughs> secure it now take your time with these things then take away all these waste pieces and are some marks on your thread so this is the body done and the post is done now this is I'm going to do a parachute hackle on this one so we again we need a brown cock huckle and a grizzly so both of them <coughs> we have to put them together so <coughs> sorry so cut your huckle one and then the second one together you can put them together and cut them but so once they are secure, now take them off and we have to do just tie them on the post equal equally and do take your time with this thing really important for still water on the river. and this is your post done so what you have to do is just uh, cut off these excess okay we're gonna add some dubbing so dubbing is kind of this is a light olive synthetic dubbing and it is just uh, floats really well so a couple of turn on the front and then okay here what I'm gonna do is just to finish off the we finish sorry and so this is done okay so that's what we done now all we have to do is just turn this hook facing upward and do take your time with this again And what you do is add decent amount of wax on your thread and just start from there. Okay, just cut this piece off, and now all you have to do is bring your huckles now do take your time because I have kind of used a very small so I'm just uh, you don't need too many turn because it's a double arc also just one more now that is done and now 
just carefully cut this and in fact just if we could pull this fiber out of the way and just few turn now you've probably seen my other video when I use the whip finish with my hand but you can either do that or just a normal way kind of go around the thread and finish off so I'm gonna finish off just a normal around the parachute so make sure you don't drop any fibers in there oh that's one thing is one that's completely luxury and a little bit varnish you have to be very careful with this and if you do touch a little bit varnish to the fibers it doesn't matter now when you put this varnish on just give it a one turn and then whip finish so I'm doing a double whip finish here because so it could last longer and that's fine take all this extra piece off bring your fly back to the normal position and work your way around with this alter everything the fibers are sticking out so basically the fly is completed now and this one will float really well taking some extra fiber just out of the way and what the best thing is to do is grab your post and kind of stroke them down so, yeah that looks fine to me the best thing is to do is just Get your post now body length roughly yeah I'm just gonna cut so there we have cross a parachute atom I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching